There we go. God, this happened, I think. I hope I'll be able to remember the fact that the splitting. Goo 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 goo. Welcome to here. What the fuck did you just say? Welcome to here. Where the fuck is here? Oh my god, I'm so. Like, Pokemon Journeys was, in my opinion, the, the way for Ash, like, to meet older characters, and that's why I was really excited about Pokemon Journeys. Like, oh my god, Paul's coming back. We can actually have the return of Paul. Greninja! Ash can actually get. Flaffy. Everybody know that sparse. <laughs> Flaffy isn't even here, it's Marie. Um. But yeah, it's like we can actually get the return of Paul, Greninja. I wanna see that shit. But for now, it seems like that ain't happening. Hum. I'll use a couple of bites, maybe switch over to Flaffy in order to fucking paralyze your dumbass. Ow. You need to be taken care of right now. Do not. Don't use that on my umbrella, you prick. But yeah. We've only had the return of Karina. I mean, he, if you look back at Sinnoh, it's like Cynthia did say, like, oh yeah. Event, like, oh, someday soon. Yeah, three regions later, some shit like that. Like, but Ash and Paul are gonna enter the Champion League. And I guess you could say the World Championship could be that equivalent in a sense, so bring back Paul. I feel like they're gonna bring back Paul in like the fucking next class, because now I think Ash has entered the super class by defeating Karina. I would like to see the return of Paul, have another rematch between Infernape and Electivire. Or maybe Paul actually uses Torterra, because that's in my opinion why Ash won the battle. Thank you. Good for you. on you and let me switch out you because I need a paralysis on this fucker. Return. Get him. Yeah. Because in my opinion, the way that Ash versus Paul went in the Sinnoh League, the only reason Ash won was because Paul didn't use Sorterra. Because of the fact that Drapion kicked the crap out of half of his team, but maybe that's also because of the fact that his fucking Torterra sucks. Ash's Torterra, not Paul's Torterra. Paul actually gave me hope for Torterra, that's why I like him so much. Cause like, you got like Ash who's like fucking around with Torterra, losing every goddamn battle on the planet. Fucking disgrace, that's what he is. Nah, I'm gonna use Swift actually. And you're gonna use Thunder Wave from the Sparsh. Yeah, it's like a fucking disgrace, he's got a Torterra on his team, a powerful beast, and he just fucking wastes it. They got Paul who fucking uses Torterra and I know that Paul's Torterra lost, but if Paul's Torterra loses, it's a good loss, okay? And even then, outside of that, I think it only lost to Cynthia, maybe. But even then, it fucking almost beat the shit out of that fucking Pokemon that Cynthia had. And now you're gonna fall asleep because you're a dumbass. How about I toss a ball at you? I don't want to use these ultra rolls yet. Let me save them for when the fucking time is right. But yeah, it's like Paul Storterra like uh, did a really good number in a sense on uh, Gar Cynthia's Garchomp. Then you have like um, uh, it like beat the shit out during that like hard home competition in a sense. It, it won during the fucking uh, hard home competition. And then also you have like the fact that Torterra did a huge amount of damage against Ash. Sosh. Who the fuck is Sosh? No way, no way I'm supposed to beat someone as strong as you. They must be joking. But yeah, and that, that gave me hope again. But I also think that uh, for Torterra. I'm using Awakening on this fucking idiot. Wake up. I would like it if there was like a shop nearby, you know. Actually, I think we're close to a saving point. Ah, oh, man. There we are. A healing point. But anyway. 
But yeah, so yeah, like I said, like that gave me hope. But to me, it's still like, I mean, Drapion took out like half of his team just because Ash is an idiot. Go, Torterra. Yeah, you, you use a fucking ground type Pokemon that doesn't even know ground type moves. How stupid are you? This might actually be three videos, by the way. Now I think about it. This shit might actually take three videos. Wait a minute, was someone here hurt? Oh no, it only looks like that. You know, the Shadow Pokemon kind of look hurt. Because I can see a black spot and it's like... Isn't that supposed to be entirely covered by the fucking green? Alright, I think now we have to go this way, but we can't because the bridge is out. So we gotta go up here. Marby is somewhere in here and I swear to god we're gonna find him eventually. You fucking kidding me? I ran past you. Duking's finished. It's the dawning of Meyer Beast time. Yeah, that gave me hope for Torterra again. Too bad Torterra isn't in fucking Sword and Shield. Because uh, Pokemon hates Pokemon. To be honest about that one. I don't even know if, I w if the blame is fully on Game Freak for the fucking sad state that Sword and Shield is in. Maybe po the Pokemon. Maybe Game Freak was like, can we get like a. Uh, you know, can can we get like kind of like uh, what we got with like Gen 3 and, and, and Gen... I think it was either Gen 3 and Gen 4 or just Gen 4. On the way it was Gen 4 and Gen 5 I think. Where it's like, can we get like a 4 year instead of 3 year in the Pokemon company? I was like, nah. How about we don't do that kind of stuff? So Game Freak rushed out a Pokemon game in a lazy manner. I mean, if you look at the fucking plot, it's stupid as shit, too. I mean, I keep uh, fucking hating on Sword and Shield, that's because the games aren't really that good. And I'm comparing it to the ga to Pokemon games from the past, you know? I mean, the fact that... I mean, I do kind of want to blame Game Freak, because Game Freak were dumb fucks. Like, you got Masuda's dumbass, who's like, oh yeah. You know what? You know why we didn't put the fucking Battle Frontier now, Mega Ruby now for Sapphire? That's because kids these days wouldn't even fucking play it. They're only on their phones, so why waste the energy? You should look at a fucking interview from uh, Hard Gold Soul Silver. They were like, we put everything, all the manpower in that game. Like everything. Even if people aren't gonna play it, we put that shit in there. That's what they said about Hard Gold Soul Silver. They put everything in there. They went too far in a sense with Hard Gold Soul Silver. What have you done to my Pokemon? And now it's like, yeah, let's uh, not. It's like, Battle for this should have been in there. Uh, Meyer B's age really, uh, Meyer B's age really going to arrive? Oh, is Meyer B's age really going to arrive? No. No, it's not actually. Sorry, kid. Move away, Rui. I mean, they, re they put back in, like, walking Pokemon, and it's the laziest shit I've ever seen in my life. Like Dragapult, who's supposed to be one of the fastest fuckers that exist, could not have been made any slower. I'm under orders to battle with you here. Orders must be followed. Unless they're stupid orders. But yeah, it's like, really did. You dumbasses, Game Freak. So that's why I'm putting the blame on Game Freak. Because I feel like they should have more power. They're creating the games, right? Like, what's the Pokemon company gonna do? Just say no? It's like, what? It's like, what if what is, if Game Freak says no, then it's no. Pokemon company can't... No. The Pokemon company can't really do anything about it because Game Freak, if, I feel like, holds all the power. Like, what is that? What are they gonna do? Fucking take Pokemon away from Game Freak? You can't do that. They made Pokemon. Without without them, Pokemon's gonna become potentially bad. But Game Freak doesn't want to do that because they're fucking idiots. We need to now pay 20 bucks more for like a quarter of the content that we got when we paid 40 bucks for the DS games. My opinion, Pokemon should just go back to fucking being sprite based again. I feel like ever since it went 3D, they fucked it up. Oh my god, we're about, we're, we got like almost 10 minutes. This might actually take me a fucking hour. To go through this entire location might actually take me an hour. Whatever, I'll do it. 
I will not end this recording until it's fucking done. But this is ridiculous. I was on the orders to battle with you. Nobody said anything about not losing. So it's okay. <laughs> what a guy. He's got a point though. The orders came from up high. Alright, I want us to see what's down here. Yeah, this kind of feels like progression. So, okay. Come on, Rui. We're going back. We're going downstairs over there. We're gonna... We're going all the way back over here in order to fucking uh, fix this shit. Ah, there you are. <laughs> she was fucking gone, dude. <laughs> she vanished. I need to score points with Meyer B so I can get a promotion. Well, we don't always get what we want. Hunter Zalo. Swap blue and load that. The thing is, also, uh, my team is actually, for, well, Shadow's team, which is my team, is going to be very different from what I initially envisioned, because a lot of the Pokemon aren't in uh, Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. So I decided to change it, but then it actually became better, because I was like, ooh, I can actually use you on my team. If I take out you, then I can actually have you on my team. And it's like... But the reason that you, one of the other reasons that you are on my team is because of the fact that uh, I need something that only you can provide. But later on I can catch someone that does the exact same shit as you. For example, you got like, uh, potentially this is just an example. It's like, okay, in Kanto for example, I would need a fucking Pokemon that can no surf. But I don't specifically need a water type because, like, you got Rhydon or ne Nido King and Nido Queen. I think can also learn Surf. Holy crap! It's a Beldum. I'm a huge fan. Metagross is actually my favorite Hoenn Pokemon outside of Sceptile. Well, I guess we're focusing on the stupid ass Beldum then. God, I'm a huge fan of Beldum. Too bad you can only get it after the league. I used uh, a. Beld, a sh I think it was a shiny Belden that you get in fucking Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. He's that bastard. I was also thinking about putting Hoenn later on in the fucking continuity, but I couldn't. I actually couldn't. Because the fact that, like, I could have done it if the Battle Frontier wasn't Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. But it isn't. So I can't do it. Kind of like how I can skip. Uh, red, blue, and yellow because you got like fire and leaf green. I can skip uh, gold, silver, or crystal because hard gold or silver exist. I can't skip emerald because of the fact that. And also, I was thinking then, like, maybe I'm gonna start, you know, Hoenn. That might be the place where I'm gonna begin my journey. I mean, Sinnoh. I'm gonna start it in Hoenn. So, yeah, season two will start with Pokemon Emerald, by the way. Spoiler warning, I guess. But anyway, it will be like, uh, maybe I could start in Sinnoh, and then do Hoenn later on. Because I would like to do the regions, in a sense, out of order, as much as I can. Because I'm also gonna do, in Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, and Sinnoh, I'm gonna do gyms out of order, because I actually fucking can. Nowadays, I can't do that anymore, which makes me mad. It upsets me. She's not a bite on Swablu, and then I have that toss them all. Yeah, I was thinking like maybe I could start in Sinnoh, then do Johto, then Kanto, and then like Hoenn, and uh, then Kalos, and then Unova, Kalos, Hoenn, Alola, and Gal, or some, something like that. Ah, uh, it didn't really work out. But whatever, you know what, the planet I have right now works perfectly fine as well. I only wanted to do it so that I could do the regions out of order. But I can't. I don't actually know if they force you to fucking fight all the gyms in, in the specific order that the game wants you to in that game because 
For example, in like uh, Hoenn, you can skip Brawly until you get, uh, in a sense, until you return to Duford Island after you defeat Flannery. So you can do Gym 1, 3, 4, 2. Instead of Gym 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't know if they t took that out of uh, fucking the remake. I don't think that they did, but yeah. But also, it's, my, my main issue was the fact that I couldn't fucking uh, use a Sinnoh Pokemon in Hoenn. Otherwise, maybe I would've just recorded that battle frontier. But I am Hoenn born, as you could say. Oh my god, we got five minutes remaining. This is gonna be a three-parter here in the sense in Pirate Cave. This is gonna be a fucking three-parter. Holy crap. I'm also gonna uh, make some noise in my chair because I wanna take a sip of my drink because my uh, mouth is getting a bit dry. That's some good strawberry lemonade. Now normally like uh, people who would record games would be like, oh drink water, I, I don't like the taste of water, I absolutely hate. No, my bright feature, I absolutely hate the taste of water, I think it tastes like fucking garbage. It tastes like nothing in a sense, that's why I always say. You ruin all my hopes of getting a promotion, sob. Bull. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. What do we have down here? Is this uh... The fuck am I now? Don't tell me this actually goes to Meyer B because this looks like Meyer B terrible. Oh, I'm gonna start to get scared now because this could be leading to Meyer B. I thought this would lead to the place where there were like fucking two item boxes. You know that we saw from kind of like that side. I'm gonna go up here, and if I actually see Meyer B, I'm fucking abandoning the fucking, uh... We're out, we're out, this is Meyer B, I, I know the music, this is Meyer B, we are getting the fuck out of here, and we're going to the other side of this place. That fight against Meyer B might also just take 20 minutes. I remember last time it felt like a fucking eternity when I fought him. Cause he has one but I think it might be Sudo, who do I actually that he has? That I'm gonna catch. But yeah. I also keep the entirety of these games like in continuity with each other. For example, this shit takes place now, but three years later we will have fucking Pokemon uh Hard Gold actually Soul Silver. Are you looking for Duke King's Pokemon? Could it be beyond here, I wonder? No, it can't. But yeah, because the fact that you have like in Hard Console Silver, they're like, oh, three years ago, Red defeated Team Rocket. That's why I'm playing Yellow as Season 1. That's the only reason I'm playing Yellow actually as Season 1. Because of the fact that at that point, you get that whole storyline where it's like, yeah, three years ago, Red defeated um, Team Rocket. And I played through Pokemon Yellow, and that's the story of how he defeated Team Rocket in a sense. So yeah. Also, in a sense, five seasons after this fucking thing is done, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness will come out because that one apparently takes place five years later. So we will not be getting to f uh, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness in a long time. But yeah. Yeah, I got, for example, other stuff to do. Because, like, we got, like, okay, I actually counted it, where it's like, okay. We got, like, for example, 1995, we got, like, Red defeat the Team Rocket. Okay, 1996, I went through Hoenn. 1997, I went through, like, Sinnoh. And 1998, which is, in a sense, then you could say, like, three years later, I went through, uh, Johto. And it's like, ah! Now we got a Teddy Ursa. I'm actually a fan of Teddy Ursa. I actually, uh, uh, it was like a month ago or something like that, I played uh, Pokemon Crystal in order to complete the Pokedex in a sense, in order to get all the Pokemon from Generation 2 in a Generation 2 game, and Crystal's the only one that allows it because of the fact that you can actually get Celebi, and it's actually on the Virtual Console. I used an Ursaring, 
this was probably like the second time in my life that I've really ever used Ursa Ring because usually I kind of go for Donovan and when I use Ursa Ring I instantly fell in love with it. Which actually will be a Pokemon that I will use in my Jota team, spoiler warning. But be it was because of that and it's like oh my god, Ursa Ring is a fucking beast, don't tell you. Don't you people have any sense of direction? I bet you're having trouble getting around this cave. This doesn't really look like a cave, to be honest. Oh god, it's one of those. Fucking purple ranger, I guess. Espeon isn't really looking too good. I could run all the way back to the fucking healing's place, but... I think for now, a... I don't have super potions. I have a hyper... Potion might have to survive or you know, I'll use none of it because I think I'll get damaged in this next fight anyway So why should I waste time? Oh, oh now isn't this something? This is the edge of the world good of you to come Thank you Sema Spiel and Lily So you start, so you use a good Pokemon and garbage. I actually like Steel. I can't use it because Glalie exists. And also I need a Pokemon that can know Surf and uh, I also would like a Water type before the fucking 8th, uh, before I uh, actually go to like the fucking 6th uh, gym in a sense. Alright, we gotta take out that Lily first maybe. Potentially, probably, somewhat. This is actually gonna be a fucking hour recording. The fucking. <laughs> oh my god, this game takes so long. I really don't want this to become a fucking four parter, by the way. This might actually add an extra day. To uh, my recording uh, setup, in a sense, because I might actually make this video, which is uh, happening right now, its own video. Kinda like what I did with another video. With like, uh, when uh, Red was returning to Cerulean City from, uh, you know. When he, came, when he went back to Cerulean City, that whole time I uploaded like, in a sense, two videos of Pokemon Coliseum. And no Pokemon Yellow, cause that was kinda like, Wes was doing all that shit. So yeah, I didn't even need to heal Espeon, didn't even take a point that the- oh wait, Spiel's still alive. And the dust stocks as well. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, you spit on me. It wasn't really a gun, it was more like a shot in a sense, you know. <laughs> 